All right, guys, so we talked about the subscription policies. Let's talk about the SNS redrive policies. And we can see here that it's using something called a dead letter queue. So let's just do a quick little breakdown of what dead letter queue means and how it applies to SNS. And I wanna kind of get my pen back out here so I can explain this to you. Um, so in the previous example, we were talking about, you know, there's publishers over here. We can represent that by this line. And then we have a whole bunch of different consumers here, right? Say we have three different consumers. And whenever a message comes in, the publisher will send this message to all of the different consumers, right? And this is kind of the vanilla how SNS works, uh, like we were discussing before. Now, where dead letter queue comes in is in some cases, this endpoint may be down. Maybe it's an application that normally it's up 100% of the time, but it's having some problems. But you know, when a message comes in now, you're not gonna be able to deliver to an application that isn't able to receive traffic. The same concept applies like if this is a mobile device and the person is offline, it's the same kind of scenario. You can't deliver to something that's offline. Now, normally, if you don't do anything about this, so if you don't use the dead letter queue, SNS is gonna look at your retry policy and attempt to retry and deliver these messages to the endpoints. And it's also gonna do so over a period of 48 hours, I believe, is the default. So it's fairly, fairly robust. But if it can't deliver that message after 48 hours, that message gets lost and it's basically gone. This is the default functionality. Obviously, this isn't a very pleasant experience, especially if you know this receiver really needs to know when it gets messages. It really needs, it, it's not okay for it to drop messages. That's not something that this receiver can handle in terms of the business logic of the application. So that's where the concept of the dead letter queue comes in. It's basically like a holding ground for whenever these messages cannot get delivered to any of these endpoints, SNS will put those messages into a separate DLQ, and that's where it is, DLQ. And the DLQ is basically a holding ground for any messages that cannot be successfully delivered to the respective endpoints. So at a later time, if this happens, you can alarm on this and like page you or send you an email or something. And then the operator can come online and take a look and say, oh, look, all these customers aren't getting these messages. I need to go and now redrive these messages or republish these messages back into SNS or to these particular clients. So this is the benefit that DLQ gives you. It's basically an extra layer of fault tolerance and redundancy in case these subscription endpoints go down for any extended period of time. Uh, so that's the DLQ as a concept. Let me get my mouse back and just take a look at the options that we have set up for us here. So if we click on enabled here, we can see that there's really not much you need to do. You do need to have an SQS queue that you're gonna delegate to be the receiver of these messages. Um, and this queue is gonna receive all messages for all endpoint failures. So it's all of the endpoint failures are gonna go to one queue, and then you're gonna kinda have to deal with those messages in the queue later, either delete them or redrive them to the respective endpoints. So that was a little bit about the redrive policy in SNS.